guys, it's Sarah, and today we are going to put together some scraps into my page kits. And this is one of the processes I do when I do my page kits because I love to use my scraps. I keep almost all my scraps. Anything that's really worth keeping that I think I will use on another layout or another project somewhere, I keep them. And I like to go through those when I do my page kits and try to use some of those up, especially some of the bigger pieces that I can use a whole and it's all good. And then I've used it, right? And I wanted to go ahead and put scraps into my page kits today. Now I'm going to be doing two videos for this and what I've done is I have a couple of places where I'm going to be pulling scraps from. So I'm going to show you where I'm pulling scraps from and then um, show you kind of how I'm going to do them in the videos. So one of the first places I'm going to pull from here is my scraps bin. So you guys have seen this before. I've actually um, done videos where I have gone through and used my scrap bin to create other layouts with just my leftovers that I had used. Now my scraps bin does contain a lot of paper scraps, mostly paper scraps, but I do have a couple other things in here that I'm, I'm not gonna worry about, the other embellishments or anything. But these are leftovers from when I make a layout. I keep this on the floor next to my desk and when I am when I have cut into a paper and I use what I wanna use, I put the rest of it in here and I just kinda of keep it all contained. And then I will either go through and put all my leftovers away in my stash or I make another layout with them sometimes. It's been a while since I've done that, but. I have a lot of uh, different scraps in here, just things that I could get definitely get some more use out of. So I'll definitely be pulling from here. Um, along the same kind of note, I have this iris container over here. And this is something I did right before we moved. I had a bunch of scraps that I just kind of threw in here to keep them protected. But these are kind of bigger scraps, as you can see, uh, large pieces. So I would like to maybe go through these as well and see if I can use some of these larger pieces and uh, we'll see what we can get through. And then, you know, some of them are not larger pieces. They're just pieces that were cut down. I just kind of threw everything all in together here. So um, these are the two first two places I'm going to be pulling from. And I'm just going to see what I can get through uh, with these two. And then other things uh, the rest of it, I am going to pull from my regular scraps bin, which is this right here. It's a file folder. This is from, doo -doo -doo. let's see if I can pull the cover down. <laughs> this is from Creative Memories. Um, I got this a very, very, very long time ago. I mean, I don't even know if they still make these anymore, but it is, it is a pretty large um, file folder accordion style. So as you can see, and then each section has a, like a file folder in it. And I organized my scraps by color. So I have white and cream are up here. I have black right here. And then when I need a black scrap, I can just pull out the black and then they're all in here for me. And I go through it and then I slip it back in when I'm done. Um, and then I have brown, beige, gray, gold, and silver are kind of all together. And then um, I go into the rainbow. So red, pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. And then back here is like um, multicolor or die cuts, you know, cut aparts, anything that's kind of like all the colors are on there <laughs> type thing are um, in the back here. So this will be what I pull after and I will just pull whatever folder I need. I may also try to get into some of these back here if I can as well. I think I would like, it would be nice to make um, a little bit of a dent in some of these things back here too, just some cut aparts and things that I can maybe use. But um, this will be kind of the third thing that I get into <laughs> versus this would normally be my go-to and I would use this and only this. But I do have some other things on hand that I kind of want to see if I can get through first. So I'm going to put this on the floor. And if I need more things, then I will go into that. Now, for starting off, what I did was I went through my page kits and I kind of broke them down and sorted them into the type and the color of scraps I'm going to need and kind of did it that way. That way, when I'm doing this, I can look for one color or focus on one tone of scraps at a time. 
for multiple layouts and then I can move on to another one. Otherwise, I'm gonna be pulling out the yellow and then doing that and then I'm gonna pull out the pink next and do that and then I'm gonna pull out the yellow again and I just don't wanna keep pulling out the same things. I wanna pull it all out at once and then be good. So what I did um, was I used these cute little, um, these cute little Boston Terrier. Josh says they're French Bulldogs. I say they're Boston Terrier. Um, Post-it notes that Nicole sent me. So um, I have black and gray and I, there's six layouts that I need to do. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, yes. Okay, so these six layouts are gonna have black and gray. And then the next one, these five layouts are gonna have yellow. So I'm gonna keep these five here together. And I'm just gonna do these today. So black and gray and yellow are gonna be what I do today. And then I'll do the other um, ones on the next video, so. That's how I'm gonna do it. And uh, so yellow's on top, so let's just start uh, with the yellow and we will get going. So uh, I do still need to pull them out one by one so I can see all the papers that I have and make sure that what I pull is gonna work. Um, so it's not something that I can like spread them all out at once and do it. I don't have that kind of room on my desk at all. So, um, all right, so we are gonna do yellow first and let's see what we have here so this is the Union Oyster House and okay so yeah this one had orange in it too because this had the lobster so it was kind of like orange and yellow okay so good definitely orange see I already have a yellow floral pattern so I don't want any yellow florals definitely because I already have that and I have orange cameras so let's see what I can pull from here first. Now this is a wood grain, but it definitely has the tones, like it's an orangey tone wood grain, so that could work. Um, and if I go with any neutrals, I'll probably go with a brown, but I don't, I think the orange just plays more of a neutral for me in this one. So I don't think I need anything else like that. Okay, so that's all I'm finding in there. Now let's go to um, my bigger stuff. Now when I say this is my bigger pile, like this is what it is. It's not like a whole, whole, whole lot, but it's some. Um, I don't think I like that. Let's see. I did have this big Hello Sunshine that I want to try to use somewhere, but it, it's not going to work on this one, so that's okay. All right. Oh, this is cute. Um, here's a love this. I don't need the camera, but I do like this right here. And maybe if I can fussy cut it out so that I have like a yellow border, I think that could work. So I'm just going to cut out the love this because it's got the red heart on it too. And then I don't need the camera. So we could do that. And that will work. I also kind of like this right here, this, um, this clipboard, could that work maybe? I would almost say do my journaling on there, but I can't, I don't think I wanna write on polka dot. I would need to like frame it out with something on the inside. I'm wondering if that would work or not. I think so. Um, I would just need to not, uh, I'd need to frame it out with some white. So because of that, I'm gonna write that down on my post-it so I don't, so I don't forget because when, the, when I sit down, there's no telling when I'm gonna make this layout, so I don't wanna uh, forget. So I'm gonna do journal clipboard. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else in here, but let's take a look real quick. You never know. Oh, see? Okay, I like this. See, I spoke too soon. I do like this one. And this will just be a layer to put behind um, something, so... Okay, here is some 
Um, here's the story is kind of cool. That could work. I do like that there's an orange ampersand right here too, which is cool. I don't need the pink, but I could just cut out this little triangle. Actually, I think I'll just cut out this whole tag, but I won't use the pink part. I'll just, I'll wait until uh, I'm making the layout to see how I'm gonna use that. But I think I'm gonna do, here's the story and this little ampersand as well. I have a couple of 12 by 12 sheets down there too. Uh, all right, so I think, now here's my question, do I need more than that? I actually don't think I need more than this because I do have papers I'm gonna be cutting into. So I think this is gonna be good. Um, so I'm just gonna leave this one at this for now. Plus I'm gonna have actual embellishments coming up here soon. So I need to keep that in mind. Okay, so next one is drinks. And I said yellow scraps and there's a, okay, this one is all brown right now. So bringing out the yellow because I did have this um, drink here that had an apricot on it. So I wanted like yellow for that. So uh, let's see what we can do with this one. I think I like this. Um, I've used this side quite a bit. Actually, I had a lot of sheets of this <laughs> from something, but I do like the other side too. It's a very uh, mustardy yellow, so I think I can use this up here. Um, so I'm gonna pull that, and it's got some brown undertones for sure. Okay, this one I can use here. That's a little bit more of the tone that would work. Uh, let's see. I kind of like you shine brighter than a star. I kind of like that for this beer definitely because um, that beer was something we could only get at that oyster house. Like it was a special brew. Uh, since we are in Boston, um, that's where Sam Adams is brewed. So uh, they had a special beer that you know they don't mass make at all it's only for them so that was definitely something special and it it was delicious i can tell you that i'm definitely a beer girl so i like i like my beer so i think that would be kind of funny you shine brighter than a star <laughs> okay so that works um i already have a pattern here so i don't want to bring any anything else like drastic some of, some of these in here just have like, you know, a little bit too much pink <laughs> or blue that I'm not looking for, so. Wonder if I could use this vellum. Let's see. All right, so I know, I think this is gonna be my background more than anything. Um, and then everything else will be kind of cut up. I could possibly use this and then build it from here. Yeah, I could use that. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so I'll keep that one there. And so how many scraps is that? Just a couple. So let's see if there's anything else. No, okay. Um, let me pull out my actual yellow scraps here. All right, so here's my yellows. I don't have a ton of yellow, but I do have some. So let's see if anything in here would really work. Disjointed or something. This could work actually. Um, it's echoing the polka dots and it's got like a deeper color. So I think that could work. This could work as well. Could they work together or are they competing? Actually, I think I like that one better than this one and I don't think they go together. So I'll keep this one out instead. 
Um, this could be good for journaling. That one could work too. All right. Um, no. I halfway want to start using some of this chevron because I have so much chevron, you guys. And I know it's not, it's not very prevalent anymore or it's not trendy anymore, but I just have so much of it. So I'm struggling with how do I use this stuff up? But I don't think that's the color that really goes very well. So do you guys have chevron? Um, do you have a lot of chevrons? Do you... Oh my gosh, this would be perfect for Hamilton. I'm going to leave that out because um, I actually just had that song in my head, the 10 Dual Commandments, and they count up to nine. Oh, perfect. So, uh, okay, I think, yeah, no, okay, I think this is good. So I like where I'm going with these. Yeah, so I think, I think these are good. That's enough. Okay, so this one is the... Boston Opera House. So I have us on the outside of the Opera House waiting to go in and then the stage. So uh, let's see. And I have a lot of brown here and then I have some gold more than anything. Um, I could also possibly bring some red in here if I see anything that's kind of has a reddish tone because the curtains are red. So I could do that as well while I'm going through my stuff just to see if not a lot of yellow is um, standing out to me or even like right here <laughs> like this could work um, so let's see but I'm looking for more of a kind of a goldish tone Ever and ever that also works with Hamilton too oh my goodness like all these little things are parts that I can pick out from songs so that's funny I don't know if that would work because it's like a neon green but when we get to that point, maybe. Um, could I use that square, the square right here? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so that can work. I also kind of like this, the today is a gift, like punching that out maybe. So I think maybe I'll just do this one too. I just noticed that. Because it's brown and got some browns going on, definitely. And it literally was a gift. It was my 40th birthday gift. <laughs> so, okay. Um, let's see. I don't want the Hello Sunshine. Now, could this one work? Actually, I think this could work too. And I'm going to, this would be like a huge layer that I would, you know, build on top of definitely. So I think this one could work too. Yep. I like where this is going. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, uh, so got a few things here. I think I want to see if I can grab a little bit more, though. I'm wondering if I should try some red. You know, I was originally just going to grab all yellow, but if I'm going to pull in a little bit of red, I could also pull in red with some more embellishments, but maybe I could grab one more layer. Even something that's not, like, super bold, something that can be a little bit more muted. That could work. Kind of like that. Maybe. Yeah, I do like that. Okay, so I'll keep that there. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this here for now. And again, you know, when I'm making the layout, I can always go into my scraps if I need to, or if I feel like I don't have enough, that's totally fine. Um, but I need to remember that I am gonna be grabbing embellishments too. Okay, so this one was Brunch in Savannah. Um, I know I wanted to go with some yellow. I could also pull in, I'm gonna pull out my purple as well because these flowers here have some purple in them. So I wouldn't mind a couple little subtle purple layers in here. Like that would not bother me at all. Um, let me actually do the purple first. This is probably my smallest scrap spin in here. <laughs> Just, it's so small because not a lot of people have the purple. Um, okay. I need to find the right tone. Actually, that's a really pretty one. So that could work. 
and that's it. Okay, that's fine. Um, could I even map my photos with that? I can. That's nice. Okay, I might map my photos with that. Okay. Okay, this has a little bit of purple in this thing, so I can have this kind of sticking out, I think, as a layer. This little clipboard here. Maybe we'll see how I feel when I actually make the layout, <laughs> if I like it or not. But it's there, and it's got some purple on it. Why not? I actually could probably use this vellum up, too. Why not? Okay, nothing else in here that is calling to me, not even the yellow stuff. So um, since I do have a little bit of purple already, let's go for my yellow. And if there's nothing yellow calling out to me, I'll just go with brown. Like, it's fine. So um, let's see. Okay, this is yellow and purple, but I already have a floral, and this is a big floral, so I don't think that's going to work. But it is yellow and purple. It's just gonna compete with the with this floral, and I like this one better. So, ooh, I could use that. Let's use some chevron. Okay, that'll work definitely. Okay, and I am gonna go ahead and pull up my brown because you know, like I only have really two pieces of scrap paper, and this will be like an embellishment more than anything. So, um, let's pull this out and see if there's anything in here. And if not, then maybe we'll go to the multicolored stuff and see if there's anything in there. Maybe do something like that. Okay, that's kind of it. I don't know. All right, we're gonna go to the cut apart. Okay. Did I pull out the vellum too? I did. I always do that. Oh, these are together. That's why. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I do have vellum here. Let me see. I don't, I already grabbed a piece of vellum, but let me make sure that I don't have any like printed vellum. I don't think I have any purple printed though. I have that, but it's not really. Gosh, this stuff is so old. Definitely not pick this up in a long time. <laughs> yep, yeah. man. Okay, but no, nothing's really good in there either. Okay, so now we have cut aparts and kind of multicolored stuff. So let's see. Oh gosh, oh, this will be fun if I can find anything in here. Uh, okay, I could use one of these for journaling, one of these little Polaroids here. I think I'll just use this one. Okay. I kind of love a mason jar. So, and we were in Savannah, so um, that could work. Now, do I want a full one? There's like a half one here. I think I might just do a half one and just have it kind of peeking out, but it's yellow, so that'll work. Definitely fits for being in Savannah. <laughs> okay. So that works. Um, okay, here's purple and yellow. It says, hello, darling. We could do that. And there's some more. And then this is the last one. So um, I think I'm going to do this hello, darling card. And I'll probably cut it down when I'm making the layout, but that works. Okay. I think I am good with that. Um, I think I'm going to keep this a little bit more handy too, because I was getting some really good, getting a good look through that. Okay. All right. I do like where this is going, so... We will just put all these over here. Okay, so again, this is yellow and brown is what I'm looking at. Okay. This could be a funny one for Hello Sunshine because uh, we were just complaining about how humid it was. <laughs> so 
that could be funny. I think I'm going to use that one there for sure. All right, so let's just start with this one then. Um, I actually think I'm going to do this one and maybe punch out that circle and I could do something in there, whether it's uh, journaling or something. So I'll just punch out this whole thing or cut out this whole thing. And I already have a little snip in it, so <laughs> um, I'll probably be punching the circle out, but I can use that up. Uh, I do like this camera. So I think I will just use this one up here too. And this one I'm getting towards the end. So when I can find some blue and stuff, like maybe I could try to use these up. That'd be good. Now, do I like do a B? I don't know. This had nothing to do with bees, but it would kind of go. Yeah, I think maybe, maybe the bee can work. Let's just cut them out anyway and we'll see. The colors go, we were outside. So maybe we can make, make that work. And I did not see anything else, okay. So what do we have? We have this large one and then a couple small little ones that are actually more embellishments than scraps. So, okay. Let's see. Probably use that. Ooh, pineapples. Yes. Um, I need to make that work somehow. And there is some green in the picture. So the green, like that's not a big deal, um, but Lindsay and I are like our safe word is pineapples. So when we're kind of done with something or we're over it, we say pineapples. So that could definitely work because we were over that humidity for sure. Even me, like at this point I lived in Florida. So, and that was still humid for me. <laughs> so it was kind of funny. Okay. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, that's good. Okay. I'm good with that. That'll be a fun one. Okay, so that was it for the yellow. So now we're gonna get into the next stack, which is black and gray. So these are pages that have, um, I'm gonna be using more neutrals for the scraps. So um, let's get into that. So that means they have bold, these have bold papers and I'm gonna be looking for more muted um, scrap things. So yeah, this is green green and gray on this one. So I'm gonna be looking for gray scraps for this, for this is for the uh, the graveyard. Okay, so um, I don't know what I have in here, but let's see. And gray, yeah, I can also go black. So like I don't, it doesn't have to be gray only. Or I, I could even go a little bit white too. Like something like this could be cool. Okay, there's not much in here at all. So I'm probably just gonna set this aside for now. Um, like I have one strip of black cardstock in there and that's it. So this is a possibility, but let's see what everything else brings in first. Um, okay. I do like the silhouette, but there's no women in here. So like these are all men. Uh, so that's not really going to work, but I do kind of like that concept. I don't think I have a man silhouette or a boy silhouette that I know of. I'm not sure, we'll have to see, but I don't think so. Um, okay, we're looking for gray, black. Okay, so this gray stripe here could work. I kind of like this. I don't like the blue on it, but I can cut like this part. I like that it's like a ledger and it has old timing almost writing on it. I really like that. I just think that'd be cool sticking out. So just don't need to bring in the blue. Okay. I kind of like this green strip right here so I might um, cut that out. I think I do want to cut out this little <laughs> minuscule strip here let's see that was like interesting to cut that out it's such a 
skinny strip, but it'll work. All right, let me grab my gray. Now my gray has like gray and silver and gold in it as well. So it's all kind of, um, oh, this could be kind of cool too. It's like a, this is more of a um, phone book type thing, but it's almost like a, what's the word I'm looking for? Records or something. So that could be fun. And it'll just be peeking out. I think that could work. Ooh, this has um, gray and green. Ooh, I like that. Okay, I like that better than this, definitely. Okay, I'm, I could use either this side or this side. So this could get used up regardless. So I'll, I'll just keep that out. I'm leaning more towards the solid just because I do have a couple patterns. I have two polka dots and then this going on. So I'm leaning more towards just a, the plain gray versus the plaid, but that'll work, definitely. Okay, so I like where this is going. Um, this one, no, so I'll just put that to the side there. Okay, yeah, I like that. And then I have a couple little things here. Okay, that works. Cheers, okay, uh, yeah. So this will definitely be more on the black side of things for these scraps here. Oh, I could use the, um, I could use this little silhouette girl here for cheers. I like that. I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> do I like it? It's a bar and this is like a child. Maybe I should rethink that. Hmm. I was thinking more to represent me. Uh, we'll see. Could probably do the hello. The problem is I don't have a circle punch to fit. As you can see, I punched out something here and that was like the bigger one that I had. I just don't have a circle punch for these circles. Um, and I don't know that I could find one because I want to say I have a one and a half. Like I have a one, a one and a half, and a two. And they're just not big enough. And I don't even think a two and a half would work with that. Okay, so yeah, a two and a half would work. I just don't have a two and a half. I have a two and I have a three. <laughs> I don't have a two and a half. So, oh well, that's okay. I have scissors. So there's that, sir. I don't know that I want to bring in a blue. I kind of like this is a true story, but I don't know that I want to bring in a blue, but I kind of like it. Maybe I should, and I could bring in just a little, like little hints of blue here and there. It doesn't have to be like blue taking over type thing, but I do like this is a true story because this is the bar that inspired the show. Okay, we're just going to go with it. All right. Uh... Nothing has been calling out to me quite yet. Let's see if there's anything in here. Although I'm getting away from the black though, like, cause these are all multicolored, but I could find something possibly in here. So let me just take a little look. And don't worry, I'm not forgetting to look at the B-sides cause as I'm flipping through them, I'm looking at the B-sides too. Cause like, yeah, these are cute, but I don't have to use that. I could use a B-side if I want to, but I am, I am double checking. I've had people make sure to, um, you know, ask if I'm doing that, and yes I am. So these are books, and these are math problems. That's kind of funny. There's no end to the adventure we can have. Mm. Postcard would be kind of cute, and it's black and yellow. Maybe I could do that. Kind of like this guest check that I could just use as a layering embellishment and this does help bring in the blue a little bit more but I'll use it as a layer. Okay, 
I also like this little heart here, so I'll use this too. Okay. Um, this is starting to starting to fall on me here. Let's see. Um, I need more paper. So I'm getting, I'm pulling a lot of embellishments. So I need, okay. So I do have a polka dot already. So I need to keep that in mind. It's white with black polka dot. So I'm going to not go for anything like that. I think this could work. It says today all over it. I, I think that this is going to be something where, let's see, let me try to work this out real quick. Because I feel like this isn't enough, but I think the way this is going to end up going is I am probably going to have um, this be like this. I'm going to have a big strip of this. I don't want this too overwhelming. And then this will tone it down. So I think that'll be okay. I don't think I need a lot else. Okay, we're just going to go with what I have here because I do have some embellishments, um, like cut out of paper, and then I can, you know, we can work on more embellishments later. But I think I'm okay with the papers there. Okay, I'm going to have to be because <laughs> I am I was running out of options for this one in particular, so that's okay. Okay, now we're getting into black and orange here for this one. This is black and gray scraps. So this is for the Mercer Williams house. Okay. So these, this will be something where I'm kind of looking for, I could even look for a little bit more orange possibly, but uh, if something stands out to me, but like home sweet home type things, because this is a house that we went and did a tour for. Um, let's see. I don't really have anything in there, so I'm going to, just go straight to these first and then um, we'll see where we go from there. But I'm looking for things that are kind of like homey and I know I have some stuff like that for sure. Well, not in that stack, okay. All right, let me go through my black first and then we can kind of look at some other little things. Um, I have cameras already. Okay, maybe use up the chevron there, that large piece. Oh my goodness, I don't have a whole lot to be honest. Um, let's see. Let me grab my orange actually. If I know anything in there is going to be stuff I cut out of paper. So let me just see if there's anything in here that I... Okay, I think that could work. I can map my photo on this one. I need to stop comparing to this because that I'm going to cut these cameras out. So <laughs> I think that could work too, actually. Okay. That's better. I feel better about that. And now we'll look through these again and see. Pull out of this one. Actually, I could use this. Um, I would cut it out, obviously, I'll, like right along the green, because this is a notebook. It's orange. It's lined in orange, and it's got a green outline. So I wouldn't use the rainbow colors on the outside. I would just use the green in there. But that could definitely work because there is green in that picture as well. So even though I'm not bringing green in officially, a little pop of it is fine. So. That will work for my journaling. So nothing in there is really working, um, but I think this is a good starting point. So the rest of it, I will just bring in with my embellishments. So I'm good with this. Okay, so I've got lots of red going on. I'm not gonna have the blue in there. So red and gray and black is kind of where I'm going with this one. Um, No, don't really need that. <laughs> okay, so 
nothing in there. All right, uh, let's see about this. Okay, a little more of that to. Okay, that's kind of it in here too. So I'm drawing a little bit of a blank with the black, which is interesting because black can either be very nice and muted or it can be way bold and over the top. And I'm finding way too many bold things for me, unless it's just plain black cardstock. Uh, so that's been a little interesting here. But let me see if I can find something in here. Um, I could pull out something like this, even if I just use it for a layer. I find a better journaling thing, but if not, I could journal in here. Okay, nope, not really. Uh, so this one's going to be a little difficult for me, I think. So I know this is going to be my background. I know I'm going to cut out a strip of the documented, and then this will be a big layer, and I'm going to map my pictures with black, definitely. But the only other thing I have is this, so I don't really have much. Um, unless I get my gray. Let's see what we can do there. Let's see if there's anything in here that could work. Well, actually that could work. Or I could use this. I'll use that because that's a bigger, this is a bigger thing. So I'll use that one. Oh, here's some gray and red. Here we go. Gray and red. Um, yeah, let's do that. Okay, that was better. Here's a question. Do I want to use this, use up some of the chevron, or use that one? Actually, I think... I think this one would be better. And it's, it'll still hold its own against the polka dots. So let's use up a chevron. Yes. Okay, now I feel good about this one. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, this one is books, yay! <laughs> My favorite thing. Okay, um, so I already have a big piece here because I'm gonna be talking about books. Um, I'm gonna decide if I'm gonna use the flyers from them or not, but I already have this piece out, so. Um, Keeping that in mind, I know I have some library cards in here. So let me get, yeah. Library cards. Um, which color do I want to use? I'm thinking the orange or the blue, because this has blue in it. Actually, I think I'll do the blue. Okay. Uh, and let's see what else we can do. I kind of like this camera that I could put towards the Gone with the Wind one because that was kind of a cool thing to see. And it's got that tiny bit of blue in it too, so we could do that. Um, let's see. Stacks of books, there we go. Um, I did I did say black mats for the pictures. I don't know that I have any large enough black in here though for those pictures. Like, no, I think I'm gonna have to go with uh, a full sheet of that when it comes to it. Okay, let me see if there's anything in here. Um, I do need something solid though. That's the only, like I'm gonna need something solid. So let me just see if I can, like I'm just gonna have to tone it down a little bit or bring it out a little bit with some solids here. I don't really have anything except solid black cardstock though. Everything else is such a big, bold pattern. The only one is this one. Ooh, I kinda like that though, hang on. Yeah, that because that this can be I can use this whole scrap here. Um, yeah, I think I do like that one. Okay, so we'll do this. I'll have black mats behind the photos, definitely. Um, 
And then let's see if there's anything in here. They have little sayings on them. So like the yellow says written by from the desk from just a note. You're just my type and note to self. I could do the blue, just a note. I could do that. Okay. So I'll just fussy cut this out. Okay, kind of like this, probably for like a layer, but it's like, um, has an inventory card on it. And that kind of goes along with um, one of these background papers too. So that works. And I could also do my journaling on, well, no, I had my blue, didn't I? That's where I was gonna do my journaling. That's okay. We'll see, maybe I'll layer them up a little bit. Oh, this is cool, it says this book belongs to. Maybe I'll do that. That means that little piece is out. So I'm gonna put that somewhere over here so I don't lose it. Maybe I could use it up. Okay. All right, I think I'm good with this. Um, I did find a nice big solid that I was looking for because everything else is light and kind of patterned. So um, yeah, I think this is going in a good direction here. So, okay. Okay, this will be the last one for today. So this is number 11 and last one that's like black and gray that I'm kind of looking for. Now this is a graveyard, so I do have green in here too. So I could grab the green if I need to, um, but we're gonna try with the black and gray first. Okay, this is another one that this is gonna be like, you know, um, a big piece. So I need to see what I have that can complement that. Um, hey, yeah, I got nothing. Um, literally nothing in my black. So let's see if the gray has anything. I'm looking for kind of a darker gray. Let's see. Actually, I could do something like that. That works. Um, Okay, that does work. However, I don't have much else. So let me pull out my green just to see. Or even yellow. We'll start with green. Um, again, I don't want something real busy. Can maybe work. I can't tell if that's too light though. Ah. Oh, this could work maybe. I think I like this one better than this one, so let's take that out. That could probably work too. And when I get into it, if I don't like something, I'll just take it out. <laughs> so I won't use it. But it's nice to have the options. Oh, this is like a war place. Should I use a camo? They didn't wear camo back then though, so maybe not. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think I like, I think I, I can work with those, so we'll see. And again, if I don't like them, I will just not use them at the time. Okay. Um, yeah. All right, that is gonna be it for me today, guys. So uh, I'm going to come back here very soon and do the rest of them as well. And then we can start working on embellishments. And I wanna do that soon because I wanna start making these layouts. <laughs> I love putting these kits together. It's a lot of fun to do it. Um, but definitely by the end, I'm just, I get to a point where I just want to make it already. So I'm kind of starting to feel that right now. So um, it's good motivation to continue going and making sure um, I'm keeping up on it. So, okay. Let me know if you guys have any questions at all. And definitely let me know about the chevrons. I did use a couple chevrons in here, but I just have 
so much. Chevron, especially in my scraps and stuff that I find them, I'm finding them hard to use. But when they were so trendy, I was using them all the time. So it's kind of interesting. Like now I'm struggling. But let me know what you think about those. I would be very interested to know. Okay, and I'll be back again soon with the rest of these scraps. So I will talk to you guys again then. Have a great day. Bye.